Hello everybody! I'm Winter and I'm back in the Soltra Flatcore Challenge! What is going on here? Villagers stuck in the ground, slimes jumping on the <laughs> on the wheat, trampling the wheat. Oh man! Oh man, what is going on here? Ah, last time, last time I was still looking for... I'm still missing an helmet. I was still looking for diamonds, wasn't I? Yeah! I'm still missing obsidian and diamonds. Yep, impossibly some gold for the... Wow! How did I end up losing all that health? OMG, that's embarrassing! Let's... Try to figure out a way. Oh, blah, blah. Let's try to miss that jump. Uh, I wanted to check out the situation outside because the situation outside is not good. Oh, I'm going to get out from here. Ah, uh, die! I hope they can't hit me from here. Uh, they shouldn't be able to, but uh, this is Minecraft. So. Okay, not closer than this. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. Wow, it has been quite a while. I have been doing all... Doing? I have been doing all so many things. <laughs> uh, there were lots of matches of Ultra Hardcore. A couple of them, I ended up recording them and uploading them. There was a team match with Pity Boo, RC Duke and Brian. Ah, uh, is this safe? I don't want to take it. Oh, look at all the experience. Uh, okay, this does look safe. So where is West? I have no clue. Let's find out. By running away like a coward. And is West this way? Which way is West? This way is West. That's cool. And let's keep going. Ah, ah, ah. One important match that has been done, has been recorded, and has actually been uploaded, but you will not see it for quite a while yet, is the uh, Ultra Minecore match. The Ultra Minecore, yes. Because uh, it has changed name. <laughs> it has changed its name. Uh, the episodes are ready to be shown to the world. So. Did I just see a disappearing slime? It was weird. Maybe you just imagined it. So look forward to it. The episodes are ready to be shown to the world. So... Did I just see a disappearing slime? So... Ah, uh, and now that I finally have some free time again, I'm back here running towards green horizon in hopes of finding more villages. Uh, if you have seen, ta-da, here's the village. If you have seen my pesty parcel video, um, I talked uh, about uh, one of the first games that I could remember from my childhood. I talked about The Sims and I told you about a couple of things that happened to me while <laughs> that uh, about that game, it's okay. We had uh, we had a couple of laughs together, and that's it. So uh, maybe I could go ahead with that. And uh, this time, no Smith is here. Ah, oh, it's a shame. And this time, I could tell about another game that I remember from when I was a kid. Um, uh, let's see. I definitely do remember. Exactly four games, including the Sims. Four games, five games that I um, either I played myself or I was watching my parents play when I was a very small child. Um, yep, one that I remember is, for example, the very first Sonic the Hedgehog game that I actually did not enjoy as much as most people probably. Or most kids would have in my place. I'll take the helmet and ta-da! It will be soon time for a golden apple. That's great. Hey, do you sell anything? Yeah. Oh, redstone actually cannot be acquired. 
if not through trading so that will be something that in the future I will I will definitely buy from another priest not you another one I well I did enjoy playing it but I never managed to finish it I just wasn't good at it I actually started enjoying the Sonic games uh, much later when I was don't spawn him right where I'm going to to run. Uh, enjoying the that very f that very same Sonic game. I enjoyed it when I was much uh, older, and I decided to I re kind of remembered a bit of it, and I decided to play it again. And I uh, so I uh, I played on an on a on an emulator, and I actually loved it very much. And I was left wondering why I never liked it as much when I was a kid. But I guess I just was really bad at that. <laughs> Never managed to finish and stuff. Uh, instead, one game I really enjoyed when I was a small kid, and that is not a platform. <laughs> so I guess I wasn't uh, I wasn't that bad at it. Was uh, Monkey Island? It was the third. The third one. I had never played the first one or the second one, but I had the third, the third one, and I loved it all very much. Um, what else? Uh, uh, I remember the Mist game. That one was another one I left uh, my parents play with it because it was too hard for me to complicate it. Because it, it was one of those point-and-click games that you are supposed to. Um, you were supposed to take notes on your own with your own piece of paper in front of uh, on on uh, in front of your computer uh, to solve the puzzles and stuff. And I was seven years old. And now nah, what's that shit? And <laughs> I don't care about it now. <laughs> uh, then yeah, I had my fur. I had uh, my very own Game Boy Color, so I spent my childhood playing Pokémons, <laughs> trading Pokémons with my classmates. Now those were the times. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to catch Mew without cheating. <laughs> but in the year, finally, I reached uh, the one thing I really wanted to talk about. Uh, one game. The last game I do remember from my childhood, and that I. It's one I, I can't wait to play again because I just enjoyed it that much. Um, it's not as famous, so you may not have heard of it. It was called The Claw, like the cat's claws. Oh, if, if Winter Ma was a cat, she'd be Winter Claw. Yes, I would. Anyways, ab about a. Uh, uh, a cat, an, un, uh, an anthropomorphic cat that was a pirate, <laughs> uh, and it, it was a platform and a very difficult one, but in this, it had awesome graphics for the time. Uh, and yeah, uh, that is one I would definitely wa enjoy to play again, and maybe if possible even record a bit of it. Hmm? I will, I will think about it. I I think I will. Yeah, but first I need to keep going on with this. I still have lots of stuff to do. Some I'm not starting 30 different project of, projects and then they all kind of they're all kind of stopped. Ah, there were no smithies in the village I just passed. Uh, yep. I guess this could be yet another thing. I could talk about. Uh, you know that the English is not my first language. My first language is Italian. I learned English uh, much later, a bit at school and mostly on my own. Um, one of the many reasons I had for learning English was for playing video games. <laughs> Uh, this is actually related to what what I was talking about before, but let me get there. <laughs> um, yeah, video games because video games in Italian, the Italian translations most of the times were not really very good, and sometimes, uh, for example, Pokemon translations are are awful. The moves, uh, the move sets of the Pokemon are translated very badly. And uh, as I slowly started learning English at school, I started realizing just how bad the 
the translations of the video games I was playing were uh, so one of I wanted to learn English among other things also to play video games in English because I thought I would enjoy them more the one time I the first time I really realized what I, just what I was missing out for not being able to speak English was and here I uh, I get back to what I was talking about before was when I happened to accidentally discover that one of the funniest scenes from the Monkey Island game, the third one, the one I had played as a child, was completely mi missing from the Italian translation. Um, and I, had, I just had discovered that scene by complete chance on YouTube in English, in English, of course. And it was I was just staring at the video, thinking, "But this wasn't in the game. I've never seen this before." Uh, and th that really made me sad. The idea of, be of missing out stuff just because they weren't translated. Uh, of course, there was a point to that translation missing. The scene I'm talking about is a scene where characters sing in rhymes. There are lots of puns and rhymes that can't be translated in Italian, uh, if not by completely changing all the meaning of everything they're saying in there. See, it was just too hard to translate. I bet they could have done it, but probably it just wasn't worth it or something. I don't know, but the point is that that scene was completely cut from the Italian version, not only the Italian one, uh, uh, apparently also most, uh, most of the translations said that, that uh, particular, particular scene cut out, like uh, the German ones, the Spanish one, uh, the French one and a couple of others. I think that uh, is... Uh, the one moment where I said, that's it, I'm learning English for video games. <laughs> I, I can... Oh, wow, there are two here. I can clearly remember that specific moment as the one where I, I just decided, oh, more gold and another helmet. Um, one thing that uh, very nice people pointed out to, to me was that I don't need an extra set of iron armor, like I said instead last time, and I didn't wear the helmet. Uh, because since this is ultra hardcore, I will probably I will probably never take enough damages to actually break down the the armor I'm wearing right now. So yeah, I can leave that there because it's kind of pointless to keep it. Mm, and the sapling soul man. I'll take the iron pick because those are not easy to come by. Are you a small one? Okay, look where you're going, look where you're going. That's cool. Let's check out quickly. Don't spawn anything here, please. I actually want to place down a torch, but... Uh, okay, I'll take those. Thank you. Now, leave. Maybe I can pick up more wheat. Wow, that's great. Am I going west? I should be going west, but there are so many slimes here. Let's run it right in the middle of them. Because that's the safe thing to do. Oh man. Oh, so many slimes. Did I actually take three hearts and a half of damage? Oh yeah, I did. Ah, I was looking at my armor. I'm more level and I was uh, I, I remember that it was supposed to match the health level but that's because I wasn't wearing the helmet yeah <laughs> ah the doubts the doubts I'm still going west yes I only really need to fight the diamonds so unless I'm forgetting something which I probably am uh uh so, yes, uh, uh, yeah, talking about English and video games, when I was a kid, uh, the game I, ju I just mentioned before, the one called The Claw, was in English too. And it was really too important because even though there was a plot, uh, it was just a platform, so the only thing you needed to know was 
reach the end of the level, keep going right and reach the end of the level and that's it, you win. So it was enough for me, but all the cutscenes were in English and I was kind of sad about it that I couldn't understand anything of what they were saying. Um, oh, <laughs> one other thing uh, was the the Ryman game for Nintendo 64. Uh, there was another game that I was kind of sad that I couldn't understand what they were saying, but I, I thought they were speaking in English, but actually they were speaking gibberish. Uh, that uh, language with just a couple of words in English. So it, it didn't make uh, much difference, but I was a kid and didn't know about it. So I grew up um, kind of knowing that there was this one language that um, all the video games were in, and for some reason, uh, <laughs> um, not all video games I was playing were in Italian. I guess I always saw English as that, uh, that one language the one that one day I would have been able to understand. Oh. <laughs> and here I am, speaking a very great English, isn't it? I don't have an accent at all, and I never make grammar mistakes. <laughs> I keep telling myself that. Okay, I'll, I think I have uh, too many saplings by now. I just want diamonds. Do you sell diamonds? <laughs> oh wow, a silk, a silk touch axe. That's... <laughs> It's not something I want. Wow, I could... No, maybe not. I uh, know, it probably wouldn't work. Uh, this is one thing I should uh, check out later on the wiki. I was uh, wondering what could the uses of using a silk, uh, silk touch X, what the uses would be, and I, for a moment I thought maybe I could uh, be able to pick up the, the bookshelves from the libraries, so I would uh, I would not waste uh, books and wood to make them, but uh, uh, I really am not sure. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Mm. Thinking about it, the Mist games and the Monkey Island series they both are, uh, uh, so, uh, point and click games uh, with static screens where you're supposed to navigate and click on stuff, collect objects, uh, solve puzzles. And I used to like them as a kid because they were, they were kind of the easiest ones to do. Uh, Mist was too hard, but, <laughs> but it was it was just too hard and I'd see. Well, Monkey Island was a very colorful and happy one and the the riddles were not that difficult uh, and I, well, I really am sad to see the point and click games uh, slowly dying because nobody cares about them anymore nobody plays them so nobody makes them you kinda get the occasional one uh, meh <laughs> They luckily the Nintendo DS managed to keep them alive a bit longer thanks to its touch screen. And then we had gems like the Ace Attorney series. Ah those are memories that make me happy. I am a happy video gamer girl. A very happy one. Hmm, 19 minutes in, almost. So, oh, wait, slime's in my way. I guess I'll go to sleep either in the next village I find or or in the middle of nowhere if I can't find a village when the sun goes down. Ah, uh, did I just see? my levels changing? <laughs> am I going crazy? I, I, I am going crazy, I can't change. This is, this is not my Z, that is not my first level. Ah. So 
Oh yeah, why don't you... Hey, I'm going to involve you viewers for once. <laughs> why don't you tell me what were your first games? Uh, the games that you... Well, I don't know, the earlier game that you can remember ever playing. Just mention a couple of names, would be nice to see. E of course the answers will, uh, will be different depending on, uh, on your age, on, uh, uh, on which consoles you... Oh, village, there we go. Just in time, on which consoles you happened to have on when you were a kid. If you did have one. Huh? <laughs> uh, happy times, childhood. Childhood is when you play video games without caring about things like paying your rent. <laughs> you really get to enjoy them. Ah, uh, yes, there's one other chest here that I can check out, and wow! And after that. I'm going to sleep on top of the church. Well, well, lots of stuff. Okay, you're a small one. And here we go. Here's the church. Oh, the, the entrance is here. Ah! Oh gosh, it scared me. Hey, what do you sell? Glowstone. What about you? Ah. Hooray! We've reached the end of the episode. Not only we did not lose any health, but actually we get our first golden apple. Amazing! Nom 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 nom. Hmm. Saturation. Did I miss a smith? No, there was only one. That's okay. Don't fall down the top of the church. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for watching. Don't remember don't remember? Don't remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. <laughs> Just forget about it. Don't do that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Good night. Good, good night.